I love marks. This, this is a mark, of course, but it's a mark that is guided or defined by quite limited ways of, of using your, literally you're using your wrist pretty much all the time as well, and it's a small movement. I love this and this and that and da -da -da. So my movements were more, more fuller in its relationship to my body because it was doing this and it was doing that. My relationship to speed, because it, this is like one type of speed, so this is different speeds. You can do fast or slow. There's behaviours that you can find in that. So I always am interested in manipulation after the first event of that mark. I'm not really interested in straight mark making now. I'm interested in what you do after and how you can push it beyond what you've seen. So I cut into it or I cut around it or I put loads of marks on top of each other and then I scoop away a whole load of stuff and so you get one shape that has got lots of marks embedded in it. I pile stuff on and then I can also listen to what is underneath. And then also the underneath, I started to think of it more, instead of just division, I then started to think of it as parchment. And when I think about parchment, the word palimpsest comes to mind. It's that idea of this surface being embedded with these different, uh, well, with different text and with these, with, these, with these different marks. And I like thinking about it like the body as well, as in our body is also palimpsested. We also have marks that we're affected by throughout our lives, that, that embed themselves in our body and manifest in our reactions to things, our emotions to things, our intuition for things. I have to love it, yes. And then that does become something that you might describe as beautiful or powerful or thing. I think, this is a conversation around content and subject matter. Content being like the stuff of it and then subject matter being the stuff that you are thinking about and bringing into your work. I have those conversations constantly in my head. What is it? What, where is it from? Where am I drawing inspiration from? But then when I'm in the making, those things are already there. They're embedded in you. And the more that you think about them, that practice becomes bigger, bolder, uh, more alive, more becomes deeper. But when you're actually in front of the thing, your whole mission is to make that work. And so whatever physically you have to do to the space and however physically you have to manipulate materials, that's the thing that you're thinking about. I actually wanted to take away stories and symbols and narrative because I was scared that I didn't have anything to say or that I didn't want to have that pressure because I loved the material so much. I didn't want to have to like bury that because I was going, what, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to do? What am I trying to... And so that conversation, I turned the volume down on that conversation and then I turned the volume up on the material a lot more. And then over the years, that one gets turned back up. And so then there's, and so how you marry these two things is where I think I'm starting to feel more comfortable in. Marrying meaning with the physical thing of actually making work and that relationship between Marx uh, and myself. This is the first exhibition of British artist Edmund Brooks Beckman in Asia. Um, the exhibition comprises of nine oil paintings mostly medium and small formats. It's a continuation of Edmund's practice evolving uh, painting, carving, um, having and erasing. I really remember the first time uh, I met Edmund was a studio visit at his RCA studio when he was doing the masters in London. And yeah, I, I clearly remember to immediately connect with the work visually and its consistency. And then very quickly um, speaking, getting to know Edmund, getting to know about his practice and how genuine he is about his work. It, it approaches themes, uh, not only the making, but also themes about his family, his Jewish heritage. And when to me, when an artwork, when the practice clicks and then you meet the artists and both are one, um, that's, that's very genuine and interesting. So, When, when we met in uh, Edmund's studio to discuss about this show, we decided all together um, and we challenged Edmund to play with the scale. So, 
I think this is the, the show that Edmund did, that the works are a little bit intentionally smaller. Um, there are some medium scale as well. So I would say the main difference in this show is, is it's playing with the scale. And it's very interesting also how, how it looks in this space. I can say that I really like the exhibition. I think it's very strong and consistent. Everyone that's in Seoul should come and see it and yeah.